It's a city where anything can happen. So what could go wrong or right is I hit up LA Unscripted. Woohoo! Talk about strawberry fields forever. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon and today we went off script at Underwood Family Farms in Moore Park, about 45 minutes northwest of Los Angeles. It is beautiful out here. And while smog and the city is just 32 miles away, these fields of green and barns of baby animals galore make the mega metropolis feel like another planet. Susanna Underwood, I am so happy to meet you. And you're, you've been vaccinated. Yes, I I've have. been vaccinated. Both so shots. we're outside, so we're able to kind of hang out together. Tell me, what is the history of Underwood Family Farms? So my family has been growing in Ventura County since 1867. So what was it like growing up on a farm? It was fantastic. I went out farming with my dad and would get my hands in the soil and, and cut celery with the, my own knife and eat it right out of the ground. I've heard that once you've eaten fresh fruit and vegetable right straight from the farm, you can't go back to yes, regular like that, grocery store, right? That is true, because it just tastes different. Blueberries, strawberries, they, if you think you don't like them, come out and pick them, and it just they have a different taste. They're just so fresh and sweet. There's a lot of farms in Southern California, but there's not very many farms that you can go and you can bring people into and see what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. How did you guys get this idea? Our motto is bringing you back to the farm. And it's really important to us to have people come out to the farm and see where their fruits and vegetables come from. So they can come out, they can put their hands in the soil, they can pick their, their fruits and vegetables. So how was the pandemic for you guys? It's hard on a lot of businesses, but you guys were actually able to stay open. It was very challenging, but we adjusted and we were able to stay, stay open. We were very fortunate for that. And we just loved the fact that we could have people come out to the farm and that they could be out here. They were the first ones to touch that produce. And then they were the last ones. They take it right home. I had the most fun with the animals today. Yeah, yummy. Oh my God, look at your eyes. What kind of animals do you have here? So we have lots of baby animals. We have baby ducks, yes. we have a baby pig. Come here, it's okay. We have some baby Flemish giant rabbits. A lot of people don't have animals in their homes, so to be able to come and, and have that experience with them, it, it is, it's life-changing. There you go. I didn't even know you guys had a mining company. What is this? So you can come here and you can mine for gems oh. or for fossils. So we've given you some gems okay. and I have fossils. Clearly you know your audience, I want the yes, gems. Yes, yes. Okay, so we put the sand in here. So the sand is in here and okay. we're gonna put this into the water. Okay. Get some water in there and shake it. Oh, this is like a gold the rush out. all over again. That's right. Oh my God, okay. And then wow. you get that sand out. Oh my God, all the gems in here, this is crazy fun. Look, oh my God. And it, we're right in the middle of strawberries, right? Yes, we Tell are. me why your strawberry, they're, first of all, they're huge and they're bright red. Why are they so great? We have two different kinds. We have Albion and Monterey, and the Monterey are really big and they're really red, and the, the Albion are, are not as big, but they're super sweet. That's what a strawberry is supposed to taste like. Oh my God. Ready to get the fam out and about in fresh air and veggie fields? We'll saddle up here. Plus, you can shop, pick, or even order, and then pick up all of your favorite fresh fruits and seasonal veggies. And load up, because backyard grilling season is on, and I love to grill. No, I don't, but I love when other people grill. But you know what is in all year round? Korean barbecue, and I dare you to try this local hotspot. But first, look how cool this is. Purple kale. MGD stands for Meat Grill Drink. Here in, in, in MGD, Korean Barbecue Express we call it. Main thing for this Korean Barbecue Express is our uh, house grilled meats. We have chicken uh, brisket, uh, some pork, and uh, we start out with a side of a uh, mac salad and a stir fry kimchi with uh, a lot of our house sauces that we make. So is it true that you guys are the only Korean barbecue drive through in the entire city of Los Angeles? Yes, we're the only one. It's safe, it's contactless, convenient, just perfect for uh, post-COVID era. 
Tell me how it works if you want to order here. Go to our website, mgdkitchen.com. You can place an order, it's a very easy process. Place an order, it could be prepaid, and then what happens is when the food is ready, our staff will notify you via, via text or via email, and then you could just drive on through and pick up your food. Wow, Korean barbecue in a drive-thru, I love it. So I've been living in Chinatown for the past three years. I'm a, I'm a longtime friend with the, uh, the building owner. There was an opportunity for me to um, partake on a uh, business concept here to be the first Korean uh, barbecue drive-thru. Since being a Korean American, I thought, why not? First of all, we have here, uh, we have a uh, prime short rib tomahawk, okay, just salt and pepper. This is the uh, slowly braised pork belly. Then uh, all this house this is sauces. This is where it's at. Yes, yes. So uh, here uh, we have a house-made gochujang barbecue sauce. Okay, but if I'm gonna do this, Peter, I wanna do it the Korean way. So okay. can you show me the okay. Korean way? All right, well, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. Okay. Um, grab one of these lettuce. Get this prime short rib there for you. Put it in it. Oh my God, that has so much flavor. I love me some kai okay. And then now this right here has my attention. This is our Korean Lokomoko loaded tots. And it's topped with a house-made kimchi gravy, some sunny side egg, some nacho cheese on there. Okay, phenomenal. You're a genius. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh. You know, that was my kind of cooking. <laughs> this is my kind of farm. Oh my gosh. You know, I love this farm because all the hard work is already done. Unless the Underwood family farm is gonna make me milk sassy. Oh my gosh, sassy, what's happening? Oh, I don't even know if that's possible. And I don't feel like I should do anything to you without taking you to dinner first. I just don't think that's fair. All right, we're gonna have to shut this down when we come back. How to protect your home sweet home. The new stress-free security system. Plus, these are not your daughter's jeans. A trends with benefits to help moms dig their denim and your chance to win a must-have makeup bag. When LA Unscripted from Underwood Family Farms returns, don't move. Get it? Move, right, Sass? Goats, gorgeous horses, and playful ponies. Welcome back to LA Unscripted. However, I am not Old McDonald, but rather farmhand Dana. And we traded in our city threads for a visit to Moore Park's Underwood Family Farms. This is Piranha. She's eating my hair, he's eating my shoelace, he's eating my belt. We have the gem mining, and yes. we have our chicken show, and our animals, our animals are always changing. Oh, and don't forget, birthday parties here are absolutely adorable. And isn't it just great we can gather and celebrate again? But before you schedule your next soiree, our Olivia de Bortoli is here with some fantastic tips for a safe fiesta. We've been virtual on a lot of events, of course. And now they're experimenting with going kind of a, a hybrid into more of a live stream dual at the same time going on where you can actually interact and get a more live experience because everyone wants to get back out there again. There's a real demand for it, but we've got to stay safe and we've got to do it right. And there's a lot of great companies out there that are working really hard on that, that we work with. It's all the small items, the items that need to be kept a little bit in more detail, breakable items linens that need to be hung, but everything is this direction, and then we also have another warehouse It's about this size in Covina too, where we keep the extra. A1 was founded by my grandfather in 1958, and uh, then my folks took it over, and I'm third generation in it. Um, it had equipment rental and truck rental. It was a different type of a business before, and party rental was a small side that my mom had started. And we, uh, we got to a point where we sold the equipment rental business and the truck rental and kept the party rental. And that's where Renee and I came together. We do uh, big concerts, festivals. Anytime there's a big concert in LA, everyone's involved in one way or another. We do backyard birthday parties, we do backyard weddings. And so anything in between is what A1 does. 
lot of people are at home right now having small gatherings now that things are opening up. What's one tip for them to kind of jazz up their outdoor space? You know, a lot of people don't realize this, but just a little mood lighting. All you have to do is uplight a couple of trees, a couple of bushes in your front, in your backyard. And it'll just transform your backyard into something amazing. That's awesome. Should we try it? Show me. Having your backyard just white lighting, just a couple of lights. Look what it does to your backyard. Totally transforms the look of, of your backyard. I love it. It like sets the mood. It changes the entire mood. Yeah. I love it. It's like we're ready to party. Yeah. Let's get the party started. Party! There's a party here with these guys. All right, and now that there are places to go and people to see, Rich on Tech tests a new security system so you feel safe leaving the farm. Thanks, Dana. There are plenty of security cameras on the market, but one startup called Deep Sentinel is taking home safety to the next level. All of their cameras come with a real life guard to watch over them and take action if necessary. David Selinger saw a gap in home security. There are very few things that have actually moved the needle in terms of making people not just feel safer, but be safer. A Redfin co-founder, Selinger now building a startup called Deep Sentinel, which sells security cameras with a built-in guard. That red ring that you see spinning right there is telling you that there's actually a guard watching us right now. Real humans watch over your home 24 seven. We stop the criminals in their tracks. You've got the camera outside. I've got two cameras outside. Two cameras outside. Michael Giaquinto says he got the system installed at his home because there was nothing else like it on the market. What piqued my interest was the, the artificial intelligence, the deep learning. Here's how it works. The cameras are connected to a hub programmed with artificial intelligence. It's constantly evaluating the video feeds. What it looks for is anything that might indicate a potential threat to the, to the property, whether it's a business or a home. If the AI spots something, a human guard immediately steps in. This is Deep Sentinel Security confirming your request for response. They can interact with the person, say, hey, stop doing what you're doing. Or if they just look like they're looking around and don't really have a purpose, they can say, hey, can I help you? What is it that you're doing on the property? I feel more safe with this, and I think my family feels more safe with this because we can access it from anywhere um, and there's people behind the camera you know, watching over us. Deep Sentinel tells me they are stopping crimes on a daily basis and for privacy reasons they only monitor cameras outside the house. And although that monthly fee is kind of expensive, it probably does make you feel safer. I'm Rich Demiro for LA Unscripted. All right. Thanks, Rich. You know, they also say animals make great alarm systems. Maybe not goats, but you know what I mean. And we are not done making noise yet. Coming up, become a gene queen. How to get the perfect fit for your frame. Plus, join our road trip to Lake Powell and a glam giveaway for the fashionistas out there. LA Unscripted from Underwood Family Farms will be right back. The chicken or the egg? Look at these baby ducks and chicks. They are so cute. I am dying, you guys. And look what they are doing to my feet. Okay, so they let me hand feed the pig, so I've got to catch one. Come here. Come here, little pigs. Come here, little pigs. They, hello. Hello. Underwood Family Farms is definitely worth the short trip. I mean, baby goats. And are you looking to plot and plan your next road trip? Now hop on ours to Lake Powell. What's going on? Lake Powell is one of the most scenic lakes, if not the most scenic lake in the country. My name is Jared Veers and I am the manager at Wawi Boat Rentals at Lake Powell. Boating is huge. You want to go wake surfing, wakeboarding, water skiing, jet skis. This is the place to be. 
Lake Powell is the second largest man-made reservoir. It also has more shoreline than the entire western coast of the United States. 1953 was when they began construction on the dam. It took them about 10 years in total to build. Three years, three months just to pour concrete. So 1963, they finished pouring concrete and the lake starts filling, but it wasn't until about 16 years later that the lake was filled to, to the level of full pool. This is the premier destination for houseboating. Get the kids, the grandparents, everybody on board for a houseboat. 12 people when we're traveling on this boat but once you hit your beach, you can put 15, 20 because you can sleep up top. It's your little boatel. You got a fridge, you got a gas powered grill, you got a stove, oven, all your utensils, cooking supplies. Really all that you need to bring is your food and your clothes, linens on the beds. We've taken the time to put together a video for your viewing before you get here. Once you get here, we take two captains, three captains, and the other people in your party are loading up your boat and we take two or three captains through the boat uh, doing the instructions about an hour. So we kind of make it easy for you. This is a lot of people's bucket list uh, on Lake Powell here. Just because the remoteness, the beauty to where you can get away with your family, with your friends. Come on out. We are waiting for you. Our doors are open and we'll leave the light on for you. I am making friends all over the place. The amazing drive through Zion National Park also makes Lake Powell road trip worthy. Okay, so how do you guys like my jeans? Cause you know, the right fit is hard to find, but now be a denim diva with this Trends with Benefits. We really work to make sure and ensure that all women feel absolutely comfortable in their denims. Hi, I'm Mark Peters, Director of Consumer Experience for NYDJ. NYDJ originally said that for not your daughter's jeans, and that's the originator who created the company over 18 years ago, found herself in a position where denim didn't feel comfortable to her anymore. And she kept looking at her daughter's fun jeans and she was like, you know, wait a minute, I don't feel like wearing the, the low waist and the hip hugging. She really thought and talked with her friends about, you know, we need a brand of denim that's going to be comfortable and make all women feel confident. I really like these. So we have, if you can imagine, 66 sizes of denim. So that allows us to ensure that every woman can still participate in the world of premium, amazing denim. So we have denim that will wick heat away from you and keep you cool and comfortable. Um, all of our denim has a lift tuck panel, which just smooths in the front, gives you a perfect rear view. We have 360 degree stretch and compress so that as you move and you're around, the denim will move with you. So we're kind of the best kept secret, been around for 18 years. We're inspired by LA and California lifestyle, really making sure that you're comfortable and that clothes are available to be casual and comfy, but you can still have your fun personal style. And um, we know that you can be barefoot or throw on a wedge or wear some chucks or throw on a heel and have, you know, a bunch of new attitudes. And uh, that's what we like to do. Clothes make a statement, but you know, you're the statement. Everything that we do is about ensuring that every woman can have her full lifestyle and thrive and just feel amazing in her own skin. Okay, from a miniature horse to mama's little helper for sure, NYDJ also offers an online quiz to help you find the perfect pair. So helpful. And so is this for makeup junkies. So I have the travel pack right here, all these different sizes. What makes these bags better than all the rest? So they are flat and they are leak resistant. They pack flat, they sit flat on the counter and they have high capacity storage while taking up the least amount of space in a travel item. Handmade in Texas and lifetime guaranteed. So I'm an avid makeup lover. I always have been. I was frustrated that I didn't have anywhere to store modern day cosmetics, which is eyeshadow palettes, brushes, things like that. So I went to the local craft store and I made this rectangular flat laying bag with a medial zipper. It houses all the full size modern day cosmetics, packs flat, machine washable, and it's so cute you can take it as a clutch for a night out. The first 
month, I got over 700 orders via Facebook Messenger. And then I was like, you know, holy guacamole, what just happened? <laughs> that was a couple of years ago. And now um, we operate out of 18,000 square foot of um, domestic manufacturing here in Texas. I think we are up to about 5,200 retailers that carry the bags now. At one point, uh, you were on Shark Tank. I think that was in 2019. Is that kind of what started the big time career? Because I know it's a multi-million dollar company now. I sold almost a million half out of my, from my kitchen table, million dollars in makeup bags the first year. So when I was selected for the show, which I couldn't believe was even happening, after that, it just skyrocketed us into the atmosphere. I have three MJ lines. I have a Mommy Junkie. It's a children's uh, travel bag line. We do diaper bags. And then I have my men's line. Line, same thing it's called man junk <laughs> man junk bags so those are uh, the same design but in manly fabrics like rustic canvases leathers um, faux leathers ostrich stuff like that but you're also doing something very special for our uh, LA unscripters you're doing a giveaway this is a $160 four-piece travel set that I am donating to one lucky viewer it has a mini blue velvet again these are all lifetime guaranteed this one's good for your cell phone your your credit card if you're going out you don't want to take much this is the medium size also in blue velvet and then we have a small little glam stripe is what we call it and our mega large gold serpent this is good for hair care products so i will be sending that to one lucky viewer and i'm not horsing around when i say you can win if you text the code word mirror to 515151 for your chance to win the shark tank pick the makeup junkie bag travelers love could be yours good luck <laughs> we're so lucky to slide into so much fun here at underwood family farms in moorpark where should we go next? Let us know.